all of these type of things at our kind of core resilience aspects. Slow moving traffic, water penetrating through through permeable pavement, adding green infrastructure, making happy people, and then giving place for uh, for birds, plants, and, and all those things can be woven into cities. So it doesn't just have to be a land protection, conservation, environmentalism, where nature is out somewhere else. Cities can become much more sort of nature-based. Uh, and what we're seeing is a lot of examples of that starting to, to starting to sprout uh, in these areas. I think when you look at this, you kind of imagine, uh, it kind of looks like an auto-oriented map, right? It looks right. like the belt belt loop around Houston or something. Right. <laughs> but it's a loop for bikes. Right. Uh, yeah. And it's a loop for livability right in the core of the city. And to me, that's why I sent you over this image, was it really, you, you get this sort of sense of opportunity opportunity. Uh, and then imagine, uh, you know, we looked at the examples before, there's green infrastructure going in all, the, all these places. Right. So in addition to just bikes and transportation, there's green infrastructure. And then when you sit next to these places, it's quiet and yeah. they're places. So all of a sudden it's this linked network place throughout the core of the city.